The Ebola virus is an infectious and generally fatal disease that has been subject to major news headlines lately due to a sudden outbreak and here are five things you need to know about this deadly illness. The virus was first discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo in 1976 and the name comes from the Ebola River that is situated in Congo. The virus has been most active in Africa and in the Philippines but the virus from the Philippines is a different subtype and does not cause illness in humans, only non-human primitives such as monkeys and gorillas. The current concern now is that the 2014 outbreak has killed more people than ever before, a total of 900 patients. How is it transmitted? Unlike many other viruses, Ebola is not an airborne virus and can only be caught through close contact with the fluids of infected animals or humans. In Africa, infections have been documented through the handling of infected chimpanzees, gorillas, fruit bats, monkeys, forest antelope and porcupines found ill or dead. Ebola then spreads in the community through human-to-human -human transmission, with infection resulting from direct contact through broken skin, blood, secretions, organs or other bodily fluids of infected people, and also indirect contact with environment contaminated with such fluids. Burial ceremonies in which mourners have direct contact with the body of the deceased person can also catch Ebola. Signs and symptoms Ebola doesn't hang about. In fact, it can take as little as 2 to 21 days following exposure that the effects become apparent. The initial symptoms do vary but generally resemble those of a common flu, starting with a fever, headache, sore throat, joint and muscle soreness and weakness. As it progresses, the symptoms become more severe, vomiting, diarrhea, redness in the eyes, swelling of the limbs, internal and external bleeding coming from eyes, nose, mouth, ears or rectum, bleeding rash over the entire body and all followed shortly by death. With a mortality rate of between 50 and 90%, how exactly does it kill its patients? Well, the exact cause of death seems to be multiple organ dysfunction and or hypovolemic shock due to blood loss. As a result of this rapid blood loss, the body becomes weaker and as with any infection, blood pressure can fall, resulting in bad blood flow to organs such as the kidneys and before long the kidneys will fail. The virus also infects the liver, destroying the lining of blood vessels and causes blood clotting problems. So the answer to the question is a mixture between hypovolemic shock due to blood loss and complete organ failure. Although there are currently no licensed vaccines for Ebola, several are being tested. Favipirava, an antivirus drug, is looking promising and has been shown to reduce the effects and aggression of Ebola in mice, although further studies must be taken before being used on humans. Estrogen receptor drugs are also looking promising, as these also inhibit the progress of Ebola virus in infected mice. More than 50% of the mice treated with such drugs survived the tests, and given their oral availability and history of human use, these would be perfect candidates for treating Ebola virus. But rest assured that due to this sudden outbreak, scientists are doing all they can to find a vaccine as soon as possible. The odds of a worldwide outbreak. Ebola doesn't have the disease profile to spread in a place with reasonable medical resources, and the reason third world countries are becoming victims to Ebola is due to the lack of resources needed to properly quarantine people, provide health workers with protective gear, and educate the population about risks and best practices. But the biggest scare is that Ebola will rapidly evolve or spread before a vaccine has been introduced, causing a mass wipe of the human race. Thankfully, the odds of this actually happening have been stated by several doctors as slim. What worries doctors more is travelers from out break countries who arrive in the US or UK before they develop symptoms. The prospect of someone spreading Ebola in busy London for instance is scary. That said, it is also extremely unlikely, although not impossible, just very unlikely. And besides, there are other diseases you should be much more worried about. Measles, cholera and even the flu kill over 250,000 people each year, compared to Ebola's 1,531 deaths since 1976. So that's 5 facts you need to know about the Ebola virus. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'm sure you've learnt a little something about it. Thanks for watching and share this video with anyone you think may enjoy it.